You're watching live coverage of the eclipse across Texas, sponsored by Visit Uvalde County, Texas. Good afternoon and welcome to special coverage of the total solar eclipse across Texas. News 4 and Fox San Antonio teaming up to provide you the most comprehensive coverage of this event. Yeah, so we're now less than 30 minutes away from the highly anticipated solar eclipse, the total solar eclipse. We've got resources spanned out all over South Texas and the Hill Country to make sure that you get the best look at this solar phenomenon. We have crews in Eagle Pass, Bandera, Bernie, Kerrville, and Concan in Uvalde County, and some right here in San Antonio. So the final countdown is on. Totality starts in Eagle Pass in less than half an hour. It'll move northeast across the state, and we'll be going live to all of our crews in this hour. But first, here's a look at the path of totality that we've been talking about. This is scheduled to hit Eagle Pass at 127 this afternoon. It will last four minutes there. From there, it will go to Bandera, then Bernie, and Kerrville. San Antonio will get a brief moment of that totality at 134 this afternoon. It will only last about a minute here. But hey, it's better mm -hmm. than nothing, That's right? right? There you go. Well, let's go now to Fox SA Chief Meteorologist Alex Garcia. He is live in Eagle Pass. Alex, good afternoon. Nice to see you. Good afternoon. It's a great afternoon out here. We we're seeing breaks in the clouds. We just had one and everybody was cheering because you could see the moon about halfway across the sun right now. And the uh, area has dimmed. The lighting has dimmed. The wind has picked up and the temperature is beginning to drop a little bit. So we're already beginning to feel the effects of this solar eclipse that's just beginning to push into the area. Stuff. That's very, very, so the clouds, we've been talking to him through the morning. It's coming and going and coming and going. It just need to hang out just a little bit longer. We're all sending positive thoughts to the people out there because <laughs> we want the clouds to part so everyone can see this eclipse. And of course, the weather is a big deal today. I've been blaming Jeanette for weeks now. Uh, <laughs> if it didn't happen, <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, it, Kerrville looks pretty good. Uh, there have been breaks in Concan. San Antonio, what are we seeing here? Mm. We, are we going to get anything here, Jeanette? Uh, we're still fingers crossed. Okay. On the, 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 the hoping that at least in the next 20 minutes, some of this cloud cover breaks up. Here's it's the deal. Uh, we're getting a lot of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. We're seeing a low cloud deck still hovering over the city, and that low cloud deck is also over Gonzales. But farther to the west, anywhere from Kerrville to Concan, so just north of Eagle Pass, the reason why they're actually seeing some breaks in the clouds is because that cloud deck has, uh, that low cloud deck has dissipated and so there's just some mid to high level clouds hanging around there and uh, we're seeing some breaks in the clouds west of San Antonio. Unfortunately in town still pretty overcast despite the clouds it's warming up It's 76 here. It's 76 in Kerrville 74 now in Uvalde and 77 in Gonzales. Want to point out that there are some showers and thunderstorms developing farther to the east that line of storms moving northward along I 10. Some of those storms are pretty gusty with high winds and uh, some um, very heavy rainfall, so heads up if you're heading in that direction. Uh, pretty dry for the rest of the area. Notice that farther west, the cloud cover is sort of thin. I mentioned this earlier in the brighter white. That's where the cloud cover is low, and that's where we're seeing some dense clouds. So hoping that we see some breaks in the clouds here. If we don't, you'll still notice a difference here in San Antonio. You don't have to look up to the sky to notice a difference. It's going to cool down a little bit, of course, because there's not going to be any sunlight, and you may notice a change in wind, the birds will likely stop chirping. Uh, take, check out the temperatures farther to the west. It's 73 in Rock Springs, 81 in Del Rio. So we do expect these temperatures to drop uh, once uh, totality begins. Here's the forecast as I see it for San Antonio. I'm still holding on uh, that we may see some breaks in the clouds here, especially on the northwest side of town. Eastern Bear County and points east, I think, will stay pretty cloudy. Uh, the chance for rain will develop later in the day and especially as we go into tonight. Uh, Jeanette, thank you. Six, six crews spread mm -hmm. all over South Texas is what we're giving you guys. Uh, we're going to start off with Mandy Noel and Chief Meteorologist Chris Suchan. They're in Concan near Garner State Park in Uvalde County. Guys, are you having any progress there with the clouds? <laughs> It seems like every time we come out to a live shot, the sun comes out. Look at so this. this has been lucky for us. The sun is literally trying yeah. to come out again. Oh, and what's so interesting, uh, David and Diana, is that every time you, you take our live hits, the sun comes out. <laughs> and it looks like it's sunny in Concan. And then it goes away until the next time we're on. Yeah. But right now we're getting into breaks of some sun. And what you'll notice here, everyone now suddenly 
rushing to get their glasses on to seize on these moments. And right? Look at that. Yes, everybody gets see. very excited in the moments that it happens. And it, yeah, we can see it right there now. There it is. Oh, it's amazing. And too. listen to the emotion. So we've got kids out see? here. We've got elderly. There we go. Hey. All it's right. These moments. It's kind of cool that we do have the cloud cover because. <laughs> Success, right? It's because we pre we're appreciating these moments when the sun comes out. And that's and that's what it's all about. And understand, this is just heavy partial. Yeah. We're still, you know, a little ways off here from totality yeah. and content, and you already hear the energy. Yeah. So understand that if we get these clouds to sort of dominate during totality, you're still going to get emotion because they have no idea how dark it's, it's about get. to get. It's really creepy. Yeah. And then everything just gets sort of still with the birds, and you know, so there's a lot to take in. And it's uh, and it's 81 degrees. We're gonna see how much the temperature yeah. drops. Yeah, so it's we're expecting it to drop once uh, once totality sets in. Um, if sheer willpower alone would do it, but we'd have clear skies. Well, you know, I'm, I'm pulling those brakes in right now. Oh, see yeah, how that's working? Comes. Here we go. We're back. <laughs> we're back into some eclipse viewing here. And it's fun hearing the cheers of everyone too. Do we have a good help? Uh, can we can we put Charlie on? I think we might have to do that in the next one. Next one? Yes. Okay. So we're going to send it back to you guys. And uh, yeah, we are, we're just appreciating every moment out here. Well, I got to get my. All right. Thank you both. We'll check in with you in a little bit. Let's take a look here. Uh, let's take a look at the, how the eclipse traffic is looking. Joy Bergen is tracking that this morning. Uh, we've been watching the northbound commute getting a little bit worse and worse through the morning, Joy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it looks like Alex Gomez may have found where all those people went off the road. So we yeah. saw a lot of traffic in the Hill Country earlier today. Now, not really the case. Uh, we are starting to see all of that clear out. I-10 looking very different than it did earlier. Alex Gomez out in your South Texas Ford dealer, Sky 4. Alex, uh, wow, that is quite the crowd. Now we know why it was so busy earlier. Well, we will hopefully be able to check in with Alex again here soon. Uh, but for now, yes, traffic looking a lot better than it was earlier today, including here on the west side. So uh, Highway 90, if you remember, that was another crowded area, no longer the case. Uh, San Antonio also really open. So traffic is looking good. Everyone is settled. They have found their spot where they're going to be watching the eclipse. I've got my glasses ready to go. It's cloudy here at the station, but I'm still hoping we'll catch a glimpse. So we'll continue to check in right here with your on-time traffic. All right, Joy, thank you. Here's a quick brush up on what we'll be seeing today. We are just minutes away from totality over San Antonio. This is all coming with the help from NASA. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, completely blocking the face of the sun. For the people in the path of totality, which is much of our area today, where the sun is completely blocked out by the moon, the sky will turn dark as if it were dawn or dusk. You will be able to see the outer atmosphere of the sun or the corona, which isn't visible when the sun is bright. This will be the last total solar eclipse visible in the continental United States until 2044. It's just about 20 minutes away. The key to watching all of this is to make sure that you got some of these, the, the proper eyewear. So experts say the only way to properly view the sun right now is through the approved eclipse glasses. Standard sunglasses, those will not filter out the radiation. You'll damage your eyes, so do not try that. Also, the damage isn't instant. So if you try it and you're like, well, everything's fine. It's not. You could be damaging your eyesight and wouldn't know it until later on. The safety glasses do have the solar filter. If you're looking for a pair, you Hopefully you got one right now uh, because you're about 20 minutes away from actually needing them. And take a look at this live shot out of Mexico. We have a complete full total solar wow. eclipse there. You see that Corona. Oh, you don't see that like on a regular day when it's sunny uh, because the sun's so bright, but with the moon blocking and the moon is bigger this uh, for this eclipse than we've seen in the past. So you're going to see more of the sun blocked out and that's why you're seeing this beautiful beautiful shot there out of Mexico and this this uh, this part of the eclipse is going to continue it's going to come into Eagle Pass it's going to continue that way north and east hopefully we'll see some of this here in San Antonio but uh, a beautiful beautiful site folks it's a site that'll last for several minutes uh, about four minutes uh, for yeah. folks who are there and that is when you see that you can understand why folks uh, will travel all mm. over the uh -huh. world and leading up to this Texas, South Texas in general, was considered to be maybe the best place, certainly in the continental U.S., to see something like yeah, that. Yeah, because when you look at the weather, it's like this part of all the stretch of totality, mm -hmm. this was supposed to be 
the clearest spot. It's pretty breathtaking, really. Your heart breaks for the people who were in the cloudy yeah. areas today. You want them to be able to see this. That's what all of the folks came here for. So Exactly. We're still holding out hope that we'll see some breaks in the clouds here in San Antonio. So let's go live now to Fox SA meteorologist Brad Souter. Yeah, he is live in Bandera. Brad, uh, we have been fingers crossed, hopefully, that the crowd clouds would break a little bit for your crowds there. I can tell by the look on your face it is not. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. <laughs> we're, we're holding out hope, you guys. We're holding out every ounce of hope. You can kind of see the crowd, too. They're like patiently awaiting. They're like, we're ready for this. Uh, we can feel it getting cooler. The temperature has definitely dropped. There is more of a breeze that's picking on up. But yeah, our sky here is it's not great. Um, it's a little bit lighter uh, back off to the north and northeast of us. Uh, but where the clouds are coming from the south, it looks quite a bit darker. But that's also a little bit deceiving because it's getting darker slowly. We're at a, well, I, I would assume at about 40 or 45 percent of uh, totality now because we are T minus 20 minutes here, 131 central time in Bandera, cowboy capital of the world. Again, Rice students, Rice professors from University, uh, Rice University in Houston, Texas. The astronomy, the physics, the smartness here. Uh, and these folks have traveled as well. Yesterday I was in Bandera getting some lunch, asking folks, uh, where are you from? Where are you from? Because the town is 900 people, but there were thousands and the first person I asked, California, first family, uh, then Tucson, uh, Germany, where are the next folks? So we can confirm all over the world. And uh, I'm really hoping we can show you something awesome here in Bandera. If anything, we're just going to have to turn the lights on and enjoy the sounds of the crickets because it's going to turn into night here really soon, you guys. The countdown is on, Brad. Thank you. And we've been showing our audience this shot from Mazatlan, Mexico. This is the first place in our area that is actually seeing totality. It's been several minutes now, just over three minutes that the moon has been blocking the sun. And what you're looking at is the corona. We've got a lot more to show you surrounding this historic solar eclipse coverage. Be sure to keep it right here for a complete team coverage as we track more key spots around Texas. You're watching live coverage of the eclipse across Texas, sponsored by Visit Uvalde County, Texas. We're about 11 minutes out from totality hitting mm -hmm. Texas and 20 minutes or less than hitting our area. Yeah. So uh, it is, the countdown is legit now. Welcome back to a very special second half hour of our solar eclipse coverage. What we've been seeing so far is really amazing. We're just really a few is. more minutes away from the highly anticipated total solar eclipse. We've got our resources fanned out all across South Texas and the Hill Country to give you the best look at this solar phenomenon. We've got crews in Eagle Pass, in Bandera, Bernie, Kerrville, Concan in Uvalde County, and some here in San Antonio as well. So that clock on your screen is counting down. Totality will start in Eagle Pass in less than 30 minutes. In fact, we've got about 10 minutes minutes and move northeast across the state. That's right. Another popular spot for folks to watch the eclipse is in the hill country town of Fredericksburg. Yeah, Abigail Velez is out there. She joins us with a closer look. I can hear the crowds yeah. behind you, Abigail. Yeah. Uh, good crowd. And what's the weather like? I think that's probably the question to ask. You know what, there's clouds in the sky, but this crowd is electric. Everyone is so excited. You mentioned you could hear the cheers. We have a band that's getting everyone really hyped up because like you said, we are just moments away from this total solar eclipse. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. The temperature really is just perfect right now, but we're all waiting for that massive temperature drop to hit us when we hit totality. I can feel it getting a little bit cooler with each second, but again, I'm just so distracted by the energy here at Grape Town vineyards. Everyone will cheer as we get a break in the clouds and you can really start to see the sun and they're getting just so excited. But regardless of the clouds in the sky, we still will be able to feel the difference. There are animals here. I have roosters and chickens all around me. I know that there are multiple other types of species of animals that are acting a little bit strange because they're actually confused. They think that it's about to be nighttime. That's how this is going to affect us. The temperature drop and again, just the general vibe of what we're expecting to feel. But everyone is already looking to the sky with anticipation. This is my first time, so I'm going to start looking to the sky as well. I'm going to toss it back to the studio because I really don't want to miss this, but a great time here in Fredericksburg. 
Abigail, just make sure to keep those glasses on. That's and right. I do think the animals are a little confused. We heard yeah, we that heard rooster, a rooster. Yeah, rooster yeah, crowing just a, during the break, a few we're like, moments what is ago. A rooster, it's one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Well, let's go now to possibly the best location across our area to view this in Amanda Henderson. Yeah, she is in Kerrville. Uh, fingers crossed. It, uh, is it as good as it was earlier, Amanda? Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I wish I could tell you that it was, but a big cloud came through right now. So I'm able to look up and I don't see anything. So I'm able to look up and, you know, I'm safe to look up because there is nothing. But we're hoping once that big cloud moves, we'll be able to see it because that's been the luck we've had so far. In fact, we've had so many people here who have been excited for this moment. And this is one of our friends here who's agreed to chat with us. Remind us your name again? Isila. Isila. And you guys travel from where? Los Angeles. So you had quite the travel to get here. Why Kerrville? Why is this your destination? Uh, this has the maximum totality that hopefully we'll be able to get to see once that cloud moves. I know you said you're so excited for this moment. Can you describe it for us, what it's been like to see? We've seen a little bit of the totality, the partial totality so far. It's it's extremely exciting just because we don't really know if we're going to see it now, especially with the clouds. So it's kind of like peaking a little bit and showing us um, the beauty of it all. But I'm just really hopeful now. I'm hopeful too. I'm hopeful here in 10 minutes, we're gonna be able to look up with our glasses and be able to see how amazing it looks. Thank you guys, we'll toss it back to you. Amanda, thank you. It is just about time for the historic solar eclipse to be full if in a full effect. You're uh, looking live at another shot out of Mexico. What a shot that is. Totality there. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful thing. It could be in Texas soon. We'll show you everything from all the key spots next. You're watching live coverage of the eclipse across Texas, sponsored by Visit Uvalde County, Texas. All right, welcome back. Our team coverage taking us all over South Texas today, but we can't forget there's a part of San Antonio that will be in the path of totality, including the UTSA main campus there on the north side. That's right. They are throwing a big eclipse party today. Marisa Mendoza has been live there for the last couple of hours. How's it going there, Marisa? Hi, good afternoon. We have a lot of people here on UTSA's main campus waiting for totality, which is in about eight minutes. Juan Munoz is a physics grad student, and he has brought all of these instruments so that he can see it. Juan, we saw a little bit a few minutes ago. What have you been seeing through your instruments? So before the clouds got here, I could see the sun as a yellow circle with some black sunspots because I have a visible solar filter on, on these telescopes. At the moment, since the clouds are here, it's a little tough to see it through the telescopes, but we can see the moon passing in front of the sun. And in about eight minutes, as you mentioned, uh, we're gonna see totality. We're gonna see it like get super dark uh, compared to uh, like daylight and everything. So. And how cool is this instrument? How, if it were perfect conditions, what would you actually see? So we would see, um, on the outer edge of where the moon blocks the sun, uh, this white wispy layer area, and that is the coronasphere, which is the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere. That's what we would see. <laughs> and Juan says that this instrument here is about a thousand dollars. So it's not like you can buy it on Amazon or eBay, right? But we'll try anyway. But you can see behind me about a thousand people here some of your closest friends. But anyway, we're gonna monitor this situation and it's fun, we're all seeing it and hopefully we'll get a glimmer of something. We'll throw it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Marisa, uh, the attitude is perfect because that's you're, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. Um, you know, right? exactly, and, at this point, yes. And the, the temperature is dropping. Um, we kind of tongue in cheek, but the animals are, <laughs> They are. they are acting yeah, uh, a uh, strangely. Strange. Uh, you have two minutes and 39 seconds till totality and Eagle Pass. And that is a picture of what we are seeing right now. Uh, just a sliver of the sun right there. Guys. We've been showing you all angles of this from Mexico. And as this now starts to make its way through Texas. So we have been talking about this for months and months. And now the moment's here. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to figure out the clouds. We're going to work through that. But in some of these shots that we've seen through the morning, you can see those clouds still making their way through. But you can still make out a good chunk of it like you can right here. Yeah, this is the outer edge of the, the corona here. 10 minutes, uh, two minutes till totality in Eagle Pass, 10 minutes or so uh, till totality here in San Antonio. Of course, uh, depending on where you live, uh, that will last a little bit longer. Uh, near the airport, they're saying about
about 40 seconds or yeah. so. Uh, northwest side, uh, a little bit more. This is a picture out of Russellville, Arkansas. Remember, this is going to span about 4,000 miles across the continental U.S. It'll take about four hours to get yeah. through it. Um, and the path of totality, I was reading earlier, about 115 miles wide. Wow. Oh, 31 wow. million people are in are the in viewing the path, area yeah. in the path of this totality today. And we have crews all over the area from Concan to Kerrville, Eagle Pass, Fredericksburg, Bandera. I've been showing you the progression wow. as this eclipse has been making its way over South Texas. So that's the, that's the shot right now from our crew in Eagle Pass you saw there. That is what folks have been waiting to see. Look at that. And, then, and there we go. And, there, and so the cloud it's the clouds, coverage. they come and they go, but yeah. you can still get that little sliver. So, I mean, given what we could have seen here, mm -hmm. this, Better. I would call a success. Yeah. This is a success because you can still see it. Here's a shot out of Junction. You can see the same thing. That, that er, the moon going over the sun there, leaving just that little sliver as we get closer to the totality, about 40 seconds left there until Eagle Pass. You know, part of this is just the communal experience. Like yeah. when you see what we just saw there from Junction on the wide picture, you could see that almost, uh, you know, twice a week at nighttime, you know, yeah. if, you're, if you're up. That's not just like that right there though, but what you're seeing is just this idea of communities getting together and enjoying this, yeah. taking this in, taking a moment out of their busy day to say, you know what, we're gonna we're, we're gonna soak this in, and this is this is again what we're seeing here. This is a shot from Eagle Pass. And it really, it really is something. And Jeanette's looking out the window here, out the door. And even though we've got the clouds, you can, if you look out your window in San Antonio. It's a lot darker than it was even 10, 15 minutes ago because, yeah, we can't see it, but the moon is blocking that what you, the sun is behind the, those clouds. And our so clock it is a lot darker. Has just counted down there to zero. So we have reached totality over Eagle Pass. You know, the clouds do add an element of excitement to all of this because the crowds who have come from near and far and spent so much money to yeah. be here, spending months planning their trips, they're all cheering when they get to see a part of this and uh, you know we have seen it really bring people together across our area today. Uh, uh, Jeanette, what we're seeing uh, here on the screen is a little bit different obviously than what we're seeing probably outside of our window if you're watching us at work and you're looking outside so what will folks expect here in the next seven minutes or so here in San Antonio. Well, if you go outside right now, if you have a moment to just leave your desk uh, chair, go outside, you'll notice that it's already getting dark outside. Yeah. The temperature has cooled down a couple of degrees. The wind is a little on the higher side. Uh, so despite the cloud cover, you will, we are noticing a change at totality. Bernie. It's going to get even darker. This yeah. is in Bernie. This is where Robert Price has been all morning long. Um, and you can see that's that's a lot of cloud coverage. So it's going to get, what you're telling us is it's going to get darker than that, mm -hmm. um, and it'll stay that way for a few minutes, and then it'll get back to what we're seeing here on the yes. screen. Yes, and then it starts to get quiet. Yeah. Because the crickets simmer down, the birds <laughs> stop chirping, all of and creation And all the animals are like, what's this? going on? <laughs> yeah. um, so you, we're at, at totality in Eagle Pass. You see the countdown clock there at zero, but now we're going to start to see that totality move northeast through the state of Texas. We're going to see it uh, in, in Bernie, where, where Robert Price is. We'll see it in Concan there. Uh, but look at that beautiful shot there in Eagle so Pass, this is, totality. Yeah, this, wow. This is, this is worth the drive to Eagle mm -hmm. Pass. For sure. Right, right. Look so at that. Our count uh, reached zero. Our countdown clock that's been running for about a month now reached mm. zero about a minute and a half ago. So it's going to be just over four minutes in Eagle Pass that mm -hmm. they will see totality there before it moves on to other areas. Yeah, totality in Eagle Pass there, 127 and 32 seconds to 131 and 55 seconds. And then it's going to go up to uh, Concan, Bandera. Kerrville, Bernie, and then up here to San Antonio. And Jeanette, it's going to move through the state of Texas as big as it is yeah. mm -hmm. in just a matter of, what, minutes? Just a matter yeah. of minutes, yes. Uh, better viewing conditions a little farther to the north and west. And then this is going to continue, of course, up towards the Ohio Valley and then up into mm. northern portions of New England. That's, it's so, so incredible. And David was right when he's talking about community. Like, there is so much that divides us. There's so much, right? But we're all getting together to watch this historic event once in a lifetime. We haven't seen it like this totality in San Antonio since the 1300s. Won't see it again for hundreds of more years. It's, it's incredible. So I, part of the issue is visual, right? But the other part is going to be... This is Bernie. Okay, this is Bernie. This is what they're saying. But the other issue here is, is sound, right? And when we were talking about the... The story with the blind being able to hear it yeah. and to experience the, the, the eclipse like that, 
But whether you can see it or not, just the idea of the quietness and mm. the stillness, there is something to be said for having that in your life, whether it's for four minutes, mm. 34 seconds, or an hour and a half. The idea that you can just sit and sort of calm everything down. Uh, we heard Chris eloquently describe it earlier, I don't know if it was this morning or earlier at noon, but talking about just, it's an experience. It's an oh, emotional, yeah. mm -hmm. and in many ways it's been described as a religious experience. Mm -hmm. um, whether you feel that way or not, the emotion of it uh, is certainly something that you can enjoy with hopefully friends and family. I'll tell you what, it is really fun as we've been going to a lot of these different shots today with our crews to see everybody heads up, glasses on, yeah, eyes to yeah. the sky, all doing the same thing. Look at that. And this is, this is still Eagle, Eagle Pass, Pass on the left hand and, side. And here in San Antonio, when I said it was darker two minutes ago, it's even darker now. It's mm -hmm. just going to continue to do that as we get closer to, to uh, totality wow, here. look at that. Look at Concan. So, completely dark. Yeah. So, look at so, that. So I'm laughing because I'm thinking of the conversation, Jeanette, we had earlier this week when you said, you're still going to get something, stuff, David. Yeah. You're still going to get this amazing experience. It looks, like, it looks like it is 12 no, o'clock at night. We weren't sure just there how is. dark it is. Corona! Let's listen we got a Corona! They're excited. They're yelling Corona. That's, so they have a break in the it. clouds there, and they are experiencing totality or just about. They must have gotten okay, you a can full picture them. of that. Wow, it just gave me chills to hear yeah. them all cheering. Guys, are we, uh, when I say guys, I'm talking to the our producers in the booth. Are we able to, to go live to, to Chris and, and uh, Mandy to see what I'm they're... I'm hearing you guys. I can go live. So what are you That's seeing? Can you can you tilt the camera? Can we it. see that? Oh, okay. Numbers. You can hear me. Great. Yeah, we can hear yes. you. That you guys. All right. Amazing. We're live right now. Everybody give us a cheer. This is amazing. <laughs> Mandy, can we see the corona up there? So we, I don't know. I think you guys might have seen it for just a second. And I said, look, look, look. And all of a sudden we saw is that a it. fire? And it's just, you know, it's, it is so cool. Um, yeah, there's people with their phones out. So I heard you say, is that a fire? No, no, no fires. Um, somebody's got their phones. This is the wildest thing, though, because we went from having the sun yeah. and then all of a sudden the birds took flight and it started getting darker and darker. Look and now it's that. just pitch black, which you, is what we knew was going to happen. But it's weirder being in it. Right? Do you hear the distant roaring around our location, too? Yeah. Everyone enjoying it and taking yeah. in these moments, yeah. not just here on our deck, but around us. We could hear all the eclipse parties. Chris, you were so and that moment we had of the sun with just that little hint of the outline, a little bit of the Corona so outer, outer atmosphere. So cool. So cool. And the temperature has dropped. We're down four degrees from our peak. It got dark there fast. Very fast. And Chris, you've been talking to us all morning about the the emotions of this all. What, yeah, what's going if we through? Look into one more. What's going through uh, your mind right now, looking I, at I this? I have my IP in right now. Oh. Mandy, can oh, you look is. at that? Oh, there it's, it is. it's back. Right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Oh, that that question. <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> there, so lucky right there's now. There's the emotion. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. And I, oh my gosh, I that's so beautiful. I think the way it comes and goes almost makes it more dramatic. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he, he um, whoever, I think that was Chris Suchan, but whoever said the word lucky. Yeah, we can see I, the I, stars. I think that We're is stars. incredibly see appropriate. The stars. There's uh, one right humble. there. Uh, it's burning now. Look we'll at take Bernie. a look at Bernie. Black wow. and Bernie now too. We were just showing and you Jeanette's shots out. of this a minute or two ago, and you could still see what was going on. You could see the lake there. Let me, let me try to call him. This Here's is a shot like from Carville. Looks like they are experiencing totality right now. Just again a reminder, we have uh, six or seven cameras and crews set up all over South Texas and Texas in different parts. Uh, so you're seeing Kerrville, and we're going to jump around and see what they're seeing as that path of totality sort of makes its way through Texas. Uh, this is UTSA. Again, this is. is this Look is an area where is. they weren't expecting very much at all, mm. and this is certainly uh, breathtaking, uh, humbling. So uh, we are even. at 134 right now. That is when we were supposed to start experiencing totality right here in San Antonio from 134 until 136. And if you look outside our studio door right now, it's pitch black in our parking pitch lot. Black. We've got the parking lights on out there. And uh, this con can again. Um, so wow. we jump, jump, I got chills, guys. Down. Look at this. Jeanette, are you, uh, let's see if her microphone's on. The, the, the temperature and what you're feeling from a, just a meteorological point of view, it's done everything that you guys predicted, yes? Yes, yes. Uh, so I opened up the door and it's funny because the birds around here, uh -huh. you should see the way they're turning around their necks. They're like, what's going on, what's going on? <laughs> um, it is completely, it's almost completely dark. 
That's uh, incredible. It's, yeah, it's completely dark. The temperature has cooled down at the top of the noon show. It was at 76. It's closely closer to 73. Still muggy outside. Ooh. So despite the huh. clouds, go outside. It's dark. <laughs> and there's some fireworks at UTSA too. S just let that Ooh. statement sink over. 135 in the middle of an April afternoon. Right. We're looking at, at fireworks. fireworks. Visible Absolutely fireworks. Gorgeous. And look at that. Where's that? That looks like okay, but this, this, that, this, I believe, is the con can That's con shot. can, yeah. Um, um, that's just the, incredible. The cheers, the emotion. Um, oh, that's Bernie. Oh, this is Bernie. i got to be honest. I'm, uh, I'm taken back by it. This I, is I, was, I was a little bit of a cynic <laughs> uh, leading up to this, thinking, well, the clouds are coverage. How good could it be? What are we going to see? You know, I have a hard time believing that. You came in this morning at 5 a.m. <laughs> and already he was standing out glasses to everybody like it was Christmas Every, morning. I just, there's a giddiness <laughs> here. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. as, as folks... Oh, we're, oh, who are we listening to? Is that? Oh, I think we're looking at a shot from Bernie on one side of the screen there. All okay. right, so oh, Mandy okay. and Chris, uh, who are been in ConCan, I got to ask Chris. Chris, can you hear us? Yeah, they are. Hey, the yes, lights I can. are back on. Oh, the, Chris, everything's light again. So a shout out to That's you. That's right. Totality's I, done. A, a shout out to you. Earlier in the morning, you set the stage. You kind of set it up to where... You promised essentially this emotional experience, this visceral experience that people would feel. And I gotta be honest, you did not undersell. It was amazing. It was what was it like for you to see all of that in person? Yeah. Well, you know, we didn't get a continuous stretch of emotion because we were getting these little moments of breaks where all of a sudden it would really amp up and ratchet up. It's a sensory overload, right? It's, it's every, all your senses are tingling what you're seeing, the corona, you know, when you get those moments of it and the complete darkness, near to complete darkness, I, it's craziest. a phenomenal and, and just I don't think a lot of people can really appreciate it until yeah. you're in it yeah. and then it sort of hits you. And that's that emotion release. For sure. It's I, I just have had chill bumps up and down my body pretty much since all of this started. But it was it was just wild. It was pitch black. And we even saw a couple of stars. Yeah, a there were stars spots. up there too. And yeah. I think like I think we all appreciate it more when we get those moments of the sun because we we came real close to not getting any. So I think we're happy with what we got. Well, we sort of lucked out. Yeah. Right? I mean, because I you had almost months. four and a half minutes to get it done. And I think we had three decent breaks. Yeah. And then the cloud, you know, just enough. We have great pictures here. Oh, right? Um, yeah. I mean, it, it was emotional. And the temperature only dropped here four degrees. The problem is because cool. we had a lot of cloud cover. Yeah. Had we had clear skies, we probably could have hit eight to 10 degree temperature drop. I took a time lapse. So my other phone has been time lapsing on us. So in a minute, I, I'm going to stop it You're and get to look at it. How dark how it just got. drops. Yeah. So I'm really I mean, excited to look back and, at that. We've got to talk to our friend Charlie. This is Charlie here, six and a half years old. <laughs> and Charlie is, I think, is going to be an astronomer one day. Yeah. Right? How, how did you think about it when everything went dark? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Describe to me what you saw. Um, I saw the moon in front of the sun. What did you think? It was awesome. <laughs> was it as good as you thought it would be? Wow, there you go. Charlie, where are you guys from? Houston. Are you? How long are you here for? We're back in the partial now. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. oh hello. There it is, are you guys on vacation here just for the mm -hmm. eclipse? Yeah? It, you, you've got your sister here, too, and your mom and dad. So, have your parents told you that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Yeah. So, what else did they tell you about it? Um, it was cool. Yeah, I mean, she's a, she's a gal of a, little, of, uh, a few words, and that's really all she needs to say. It was awesome, yeah. and it was cool. But, you know, sometimes kids can get bored after a while, right? <laughs> she's been constant here for like an hour and a half yeah. since partial began, just a little after 12 o'clock. Yes, and uh, we're, we've got the sun out again, which is really exciting, is. too. Yeah, Charlie, really you should neat. go put your glasses on and get to look at it. So listen, you know, guys, the things we didn't get, we didn't get Bailey's beads, we didn't get the diamond ring effect. You know, those are things that with the Im immaculate, clear sky, total solar eclipse. But we still had the experience. And proof is in the pudding, <laughs> right? Because it continues, yeah. It was roaring here on this deck. Yes. I mean, and then it just kind of went silent. And I know you guys had us up, and it's still, it, there's only a tiny little sliver of the sun that's out now. It's just, it's incredible. Um, we will continue reveling in our good fortunes out here in Concan. We'll send it back to you guys.
Well, I think something. I'm starting to get a little jealous. Oh, a little I'm a lot bit. jealous. A little bit. You know? I'm a lot jealous. <laughs> like when I, like my, my daughter, we live in the Stone Oakish area, and she just texted me because she's home from school today, and she's like, it's so dark. <laughs> and it's so, and you saw in that live shot with them, it it was bright and then it was dark and it's it's so incredible. Yeah, there's uh, a it lot. It really is. There's a whole lot of teaching opportunities for mm. kids today. Oh yeah. Um, the science, but but just also, man, science is kind of fun. Well, not <laughs> to mention like there's a FOMO element to this. I mean, we've yeah. been seeing people having an amazing time. But and I that think includes the, uh, Robert Pricer, who's been in Bernie all morning. Small smile on your face says it all, there, sir. Hey guys, yeah, so I've been at Bernie City Lake Park since 5 o'clock this morning, and I want to say about six minutes ago, we were in the middle of totality. It felt like it was 5 o'clock in the morning again. It was pitch black. People were howling at the moon. They were very excited because, unfortunately, it's been quite gloomy, quite overcast, a lot of cloud coverage. I want to talk to a man named Chris. He's from Houston. If we come over here, Emilio, he's the man with the camera. He's been getting a lot of great shots. Chris, how would you characterize the last hour or so? The last hour has been a little frustrating. <laughs> But the few moments where the sun actually did peek through and you could actually see the eclipse, I mean, incredible. How would you, how would you describe the totality experience? So the totality, when it started to get dark, I mean, there's, you just can't describe how that feels. It just starts to get dark in a matter of seconds. And then for the brief moment where it actually did, the, the clouds broke enough so we could actually see totality here. The greatest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen anything that cool. So overall, even though it wasn't what you were hoping for, it was still totally worth coming out here. Totally worth it. For those few seconds, I would do anything for that. That was just amazing. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. You got some good, good pictures? Got some good pictures as well, so I'm happy with it. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to send it back to you. But as you heard, overcast led to some glum expressions at first. But then when that totality hit and it became pitch, pitch dark, pitch black out here, the sensors on the bathroom light kicked on. People were like, oh, my gosh, it's the middle of the night. But it wasn't. It was 1.33 in the afternoon. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. That is some incredible mm. stuff. It's so awesome. Yeah, it it's has been. Amazing. It's really been amazing for us to get oh, to yeah. see the progression of the totality through our area. It started uh, in Eagle Pass. That's mm -hmm. in, here in Texas. That's uh, where the totality started. It was the first spot. Uh, and one of our friends is down there. Chief Meteorologist Alex Garcia is there. Uh, we want to go live to... He's not there. We're not going to go to him just yet. Oh. That's all right, because we saw it move through. And we were just talking to Jeanette earlier. You know, some people like to see the ring, the corona. Mm -hmm. Other people, just the the experience of the darkness, uh, the stillness, the sound. Yeah. Uh, it whatever floats your boat. Um, yeah. There's just all kinds of things to to find uh, enticing when it comes to yeah, something like this. We did like talk this. about how the birds stop chirping and it gets very quiet. <laughs> the animals are a little confused today. We went to Fredericksburg. <laughs> we heard the rooster crowing and. Uh, you know, that totality is passed now, so the lights are back on there, and hopefully things will be t returning to normalcy for them. But this has really just been an amazing th an experience, really, yeah, to I was behold. Just those, the, the exact words I was going to say, it's just, it, yeah, we had the, the missing out. We're here, mm -hmm. we're not out there. But we, to see it all across South Texas, it's just it's incredible. The other thing uh, to kind of keep in mind is this is now moving, yeah. what, uh, eastern, mm -hmm. so northeastern across uh, the continental United States. So everybody that's been watching this on, you know, social media is mm -hmm. thinking to themselves, well, here it comes. Oh, look at you Dallas. Totality in Dallas. This is, uh, I think Dallas might be the biggest city in the path of totality, yeah. um, but that's what they're experiencing. We're going to Brad Souter, is that right? All right, let's go to Brad Souter. He is in Bandera. Uh, Brad has been the one, I think, of all of our crews, yeah. fingers crossed, hoping against all hope that they would see it in all of its glory. Uh, Brad, what'd you think? Well, you know, you know what? The, the, the clouds stayed um, well protected here, so we did not get a glimpse of totality. But I got to tell you, it doesn't matter. Uh, the fact of when the light was there and when it got dark, like somebody was on a switchboard with the light control panel and just pulled the lights down, that's exactly what happened. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm not an emotional guy, but. I felt very full of emotion, almost tearing up. Um, it, you know, this has been written about for decades and hundreds of years where even the natives wrote about the emotional experience, the spiritual nature of it, whether you're a religious person or not. There's just a feeling that you can't describe. Um, the audience behind us 
it was silence. They were, nobody was using their phones. They were just kind of sitting here in awe of, this is weird, the lights went out. I can't imagine somebody that went into work, they're not really paying attention to, you know, what's going on in the news, coming out of work in the middle of the day and they didn't realize the eclipse was happening. Um, that would be a little trippy. Um, I'd say, uh, and you know that would have happened for, for folks hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They would have thought it's the end of the world because um, that's what it looks like when it turns to midnight in the middle of the daytime. So yes, we didn't get to see the corona and the solar flares, but I, I don't care because this, this was cool. That summed it up. Right, Brad, thank it you. sure did. <laughs> just, it's, you can hear it in his voice. Yeah. You can totally hear it in his voice. There, there's a lot of emotion that comes through this. Chris Uchen was totally right. I, uh, the idea that he describes of folks from generations, mm. you yeah. know, hundreds of years ago, not understanding. But the idea, I, I, what I really loved more than anything, what he said there was, there was a moment there where millions of people put their phones down. Yeah and looked up and it was like oh my gosh this is what we this is what parents talk about all the time <laughs> like let's just all be together yeah. and present in one and for a moment there for uh, the better part of four minutes in many cases that's what we were and that we are going to be in a partial eclipse here in san antonio until after yeah. two o'clock this Good afternoon point. so totality is passed let's go to marisa mendoza she's a utsa she's been there since this morning Marisa, what was it like for you to experience that with the crowd there? Hi there, guys. Yeah, we are at UTSA's main campus where the crowds are clearing very quickly after the total solar eclipse. And the cool thing when we were out here was the fact that it got pitch dark as if it were nighttime. Joining me is Juan Munoz. He is a UTSA grad student, a physics grad student. What did you think about this to total solar eclipse? So I thought it was really cool. Like I said, uh, we got to see a little bit of the white uh, light around the edge when the moon was blocking the sun, and then uh, got to see it get pitch black. I hadn't seen it, that, uh, that happen before, so that was a lot of fun to see. And you said you were actually surprised by how many people came out today despite the forecast of it being cloudy. Yeah, I was, but uh, pleasantly surprised. It was nice that everyone came to see this grand event. <laughs> and do you think people were disappointed? Uh, they may have been. Uh, if this was their first experience for them, I'm pretty sure it, anything would have been would have been awesome. Uh, compared to what I was hoping for, just a tad disappointed, but again, still a lot of fun. Okay, well, thank you so much, Juan. I appreciate it. Um, Juan brought about um, two different instruments, guys, um, and they are very expensive, about $1,000. Behind my shoulder is one of them. That one's $1,000. This one here is probably $300. Not a big deal. But anyway, if we had perfect conditions, Juan would have been able to see the actual corona of the sun. So that would have been cool. But hey, maybe in 40 years where we will catch up with Juan. But anyway, I'm going to throw it back to you guys. It was totally cool. So glad that we experienced it. You, you say that again because I, I mean, said totality <laughs> was totally cool. Totally Marisa cool. said totally it right. Cool. Let's get to Joy Bergen. Wasn't that cool, Joy? Oh, it was cool. You know, I stepped outside for a second. I didn't really get to see it because of the clouds, but man, did it get dark here at the station. I saw just for a second, I saw one little, little, uh, you know, right before totality. I got to see that. Uh, as far as traffic right now, yes, it got really dark out there on the roads. Things brightening up now again here in San Antonio. Roads pretty empty as of right now. Let's check those areas where there were really hot spots earlier today where we had everyone headed out to the hill country. So far, those are still clear. Again, we may have another rush as people start heading back into town after checking out the eclipse for themselves. There's that path of totality. So that was over there on the northwest side. As of right now, we're in a good spot. We'll let you know if anything changes right here with your on-time traffic. You're watching live coverage of the eclipse across Texas, sponsored by Visit Uvalde County, Texas. Welcome back, everyone. Totality is over. The partial eclipse part still continuing its way north and east. What an experience. Yeah, it has been yeah. great. Yeah. We're going to continue our special coverage with Chris and Mandy, who have been in ConCan since yesterday. You guys, uh, 
Has this moved on now? Is it over there? What's happening where you are? It's not over. A lot of the people have kind of started to leave, but we still have a partial cover. Yeah, of the sun. I mean, it's you know, it's the back half of yeah. you know, partial eclipse, but and it'll last for a while. Most have packed it up in their April. I was like, why did everybody leave? Because there's still a lot. Actually, did I just see some raindrops. Yeah, we're getting a couple sprinkles. We're getting. You know, the problem is too, though, is like you know, we set, we have a heavier variety of cloud yeah. cover right now, so you're not, so you're not really much. enjoying much of this partial here. Uh, but I will tell you that I think we had satisfied customers. Would you, would well, you agree? Yeah. And they, I'm sure they would agree too, because they were... Got <laughs> the emotion. Our reaction was just like little kids. Well, because we were reliant on these breaks, yeah. and we got like three, maybe four of them. <sighs> Chills again. And see, so you really weren't expecting, because it was so dark, you couldn't see the breaks when it would come. And, then, and all of a sudden, there it was, the corona and all its glory. Yeah. Oh, so we got to yeah. see it three times, and it's just truly magical. And it, I, I think something that a lot of people talk about is what did they think 200 years ago when stuff like this happened that must have really freaked well, them out now you can understand history when you hear yeah. some of the stories back in the day yeah. right but yeah you know the birds they were gathering right before totality they were flying up yeah. above feeding and then they were gone and then they came out right afterwards yes, thinking it was sunrise everything got yeah. very quiet the birds had been like chirping but like you said everything got very quiet and you know there were a lot of um, elderly people there were a lot of kids like charlie who we showed you and it's just a generational, like it, it knows no age. This yep. is fantastic no matter who you are. And, and the, the, the older couple that we have over here, right? The gentleman, 93 years old. I think this is like his eighth total eclipse or something. Wow. And so family brought him out and uh, he was filled with emotion, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just so overwhelming. It's, the, the power of a total eclipse. It, it is. It's just otherworldly and ethereal. Yes, I guess it that's, is. It's supposed to be, well right? Well said. Well said. <laughs> and um, we'll have to wait till 2343 for the next one in San Antonio. Well, I'll see you right back here. Let's let's meet back here. We'll, Reservations. We'll be right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to send it back to you guys in studio. So yes, definitely a success. Worth it for those few moments. I think then we'll switch. We'll go out there and they'll be here. Well, they'll only be 30 in 2043, right? So. I want to go to Eagle Pass. Alex Garcia, uh, Chief Meteorologist, is out there. That's where the totality started. first started. Um, Alex, what was it like? It is still a partial eclipse there, right? So. Well, things are looking really, really good today. Things were just so exciting. The cloud broke just in time for us to really get a good view right here in Eagle Pass. Everybody was cheering. Everybody was so excited. And then it was a dead silence. Everybody listening and looking as the skies got darker, darker, and darker. And finally, we could see the planets, which was really, really cool. The temperature dropped about eight to nine degrees and the wind picked up anywhere from four to maybe six miles an hour faster than it had been. So what an experience this was for so many people out here. They were so excited. They were cheering when they saw the Bailey's beads. They were cheering when the sun started to come back out. And boy, it was a quick light up, just a matter of seconds in sea light before everything lit back up. And here we are, back to where we were. Yeah, All this something. building, you know, yeah. just like that. But it sure seems that uh, Eagle Pass was the place to be today. I mean, they've got the party going there still. And I think one thing that we've seen from from all of our reporters through the morning is there was there was a little bit of doubt this morning uh, with all the cloud cover. But even with that cloud cover, little peaks and hints mm -hmm. of it, it's still phenomenal. It's making its way, uh, and this is what's super fun to watch, is to realize yeah. that folks in Arkansas earlier, Illinois right now, as you see on your screen, they're now experiencing the giddiness and the yeah. smiles <laughs> and the uh, wave of emotion uh, that Chris and Brad and Alex and everybody out in the field, Mandy, have all talked mm -hmm. about. Um, it is certainly, uh, they say it's a day to remember. Um, and is. few things in life really ever live up to the hype. I don't know if this did, but it certainly came very close, and it's an experience that certainly uh, I hope everyone cherishes. It's been really fun for us to watch the mm -hmm. progression of the totality as it started in Mexico and then moved through our area. We saw it in Dallas, yeah. then on to Arkansas, and now you're seeing Illinois. It's going to be in New York uh, later this afternoon. So what a day. What we, a day. There was so much buildup leading up yeah. to this. And, uh, 
It's been an honor to uh, anchor this coverage with you guys. Yes, yeah, it's, been it's been a very good time. Nice hanging out with you folks and great hanging out with you as well. We're going to have much more coverage. Again, that totality is not over yet. As you see in those live pictures, we're going to have much more coverage through the day on air and online. Hope you had a chance to enjoy it. Even if you didn't see it, it was darker and that's cool. You can watch all of our friends and the nighttime shows and you'll see all of us in the mornings as well on both News 4 and Fox San Antonio. Have a great afternoon. Yeah, jigs. <laughs>